Well, you guys, this ain't a bass demo video, but it's something cool you got, might, guys might want to see. Notice anything different with my Explorer? Yeah, tinted windows, baby. So, what I did is I got the, uh, I went to this tint place in the town next to mine. My mom goes to them for car detailing. She's been going there for years. So I, I decided to go try them for uh, window tinting. So, if you ask me, this came out really damn good. I, so far, I only have the two front windows done. Um, they charged me 70 bucks and they got it pretty even. The only thing is that this window's a tad bit darker, but what I'm gonna do is, since the tint, since this, the back glass, I ha well, first of all, I had to match the front with the back, but what I'm gonna have them do now is, the back windows are, are privacy glass, it's not tinted glass, it's like, you know, it's like tint in the glass, kind of speak. So, what I'm gonna do is to make give it a little bit darker is I'm probably going to bring it back and have them do all the back windows uh, one more layer of like 50% black maybe but uh, I don't know if you guys can tell but it comes really freaking it's like exact pretty much it's crazy so um yeah that's pretty new uh, for mass tint laws I think th I think they did like something like 20% on the front, but I don't know if they mixed it with another layer of something or not. But um, for the mass tint laws, it's normally uh, 35 front, and I think like you can go whatever darkness for the back. Not really sure, but I'm not too concerned because one of my friends has a Volkswagen R32, and he's got all the windows down to 20%, and he hasn't got he's had that for like three years and hasn't gotten pulled over so. I guess I'm gonna take a risk at it. And another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a black strip, a darker black strip, like six inches on the windshield, cause that's the legal limit around here. But other than that, it came out perfect. And I don't know if you guys remember me mentioning this on one of my older videos about a limited, but this has been like a dream of mine to do, is to get all the windows tinted to kind of match and as you can see, they pretty much it, it pretty it matches. Like you, can, if you look at it, you can't see a difference. So, yeah, it makes it look a lot sleeker, in my opinion. But other than that, um, I fr I looked in this file cabinet, which is like my parts cabinet, which I haven't opened in ages. So ever since I had the last V6 Explorer was the last time I opened these drawers. And I found I had a, an, o an unopened, or I should say unwrapped exhaust tip I got from somewhere. So oh, I kind of went ahead and, hang on a sec. I went ahead and threw it on there. It looks really sweet. It's resonated too. Um, but uh, yeah, so for exhaust plans, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, but around my birthday, which is in a few months, I am planning on getting some sort of cat back system, and maybe the beginning of the summer, I'll get some uh, new, either new cats or take two of them off, because I have headers that are going to be waiting to be put on this car really soon. Um, there are Torque Monster headers, really good, and... Yeah, so that's my exhaust plan for right now. Let me see, did I do anything? Oh, gotta unlock the bitch. There we go. Okay. So yeah, um, it's been pretty crazy keeping this thing clean because the winter weather, you know all that. I did, I finally got that stupid whine from the back door speakers. I got rid of that. And trust me, I tried everything. I tried changing grounds. I tried changing RCA cables. I ran an RCA cable from the amp right over the front console into the stereo, and that didn't even get rid of the damn noise. So what I did is I went to Walmart because the Radio Shack one, I was a little suspicious to see if that was working or not, but I had got a ground loop isolator from Radio Shack a while ago and had that plugged in, and it didn't work. 
So I went to Walmart and they were having a clearance sale for like five bucks. I bought a Skosh one since I'm a pretty good fan of Skosh wiring for my car. And I plugged it in in the back of the head unit and guess what? The noise is completely gone. So all you hear when you're driving down the road is like silence, except unless you have the music on. And of course, those subs are doing the thing still. I'll have more demo videos up later on. But uh, other than that, not much else is really happening with this car. I'm waiting for the four Soundstorm subs to sell so I can buy my two new Daytons for the front of the box. Can't really see it. See, so I could trying to sell off these two which are st aren't hooked up remember and I have two other new ones in the box inside and I'm gonna get two more of those so you can see I'm going for like the black look with the subs and the box is holding up just fine um big lots bag anyways I got um as you guys remember before I had green license plate bulbs not only did that look trashy with the car but it also was kind of illegal around here. So, I'll show you what I did. Instead of having this ugly ass whitish yellowish color, I got white LED ones. Um, I don't know if you can really see the difference, but it's there's a big difference. This one's a lot whiter. Um, funny thing on eBay, they really trick you it's, I thought it had four of these bulbs, but it was actually four bulbs in one little pod. So I have to wait for the other set of ten I have coming in so I can replace that one. And I do need to get new tail lights. and this is a note anybody should take. If you're on eBay and you want to buy uh, LED tail light bulbs, um, stay away from the ones that are really cheap because what I noticed is when you hit the brakes, they don't get any brighter. The only thing that happens different when you hit the brakes is the third brake light comes on. And I got pulled over for that the other night because the cop was following me and he noticed that my brakes didn't get any brighter when I hit the pedal. So you kind of have to go with a better quality LED light for those. But for the turn signal ones, if you find them for a dollar on eBay, go get them because they're holding up for me. They're bright and they're lasting. Um, I have a cool, oh, my projector lenses are so dirty. But I have a cool surprise coming for my uh, LED strip I have right here of the three bulbs. You'll see that in a little while. I need to get new uh, 5K HID bulbs because the ones that came with the kit I got are crap. And this one flickers on sometimes. Or when I turn the headlights on, it flickers on and then shuts off. And that's not really good, you know. So, um, yeah. I gotta, those, are, those aren't that bad to get. But, yeah, other than that, you guys... My biggest update in this video was my tinted windows. So, tell me what you guys think. It goes it, it once again it goes like perfect with the car. And there are a couple you're going to notice some cool things happen in the next video I post up. So, catch you guys later, all right? Peace.